October 7th, 1983 edition of the Omaha Jewish Press announced the establishment of the Jewish Federation of Omaha Foundation. Its purpose was fourfold, to provide the means for charitable objectives beyond the annual campaign, to improve the quality of Jewish communal life by providing funds not currently available, to serve as a reserve fund to meet any emergency needs and to educate potential donors. Today, the foundation continues to provide financial security and peace of mind vital to the Omaha Jewish community. It's the foundation that allows us to collectively dream today and see it tomorrow. The foundation offers prospective donors a variety of charitable funds that support all facets of the Jewish community, human services, programs, projects, agencies, schools, religious institutions, our youth, and our senior citizens. But we can't ensure Jewish tomorrows without you. Charitable giving can be learned if we take the time to empower our young people, to teach them the value of giving their time, talent, and financial support, we will strengthen our community. The foundation offers every bar or bat mitzvah the opportunity to open his or her own charitable fund. Family and friends can donate to the fund at any time for any reason, but we can't ensure Jewish tomorrows without you. To be able to move from, as a young girl, donating tzedakah to donating as a teenager, especially post bat mitzvah, was a really powerful thing. I'm grateful looking back that that was encouraged by my parents. It's important to give back to your community because it's important to give back to your community. We dedicate time, we dedicate resources to go back to people who need it because it's the right thing to do. Not necessarily just because Sadaka is something that we're taught at a young age. We are, and that's incredibly important. But we move forward as young people into the world knowing that if you are not there supporting your Jewish community, who else is? Charitable giving can be inspired. It starts when one individual or one family wants to engage in Jewish charitable giving with extended family members. But we can't ensure Jewish tomorrows without you. Um, I think we have an obligation as a community to continually not just ask people for money, but ask them for their time. Getting people involved, to me, is the first step. Thanks to the foundation and the B'nai Tzedek program, from the ages of 13 on, my girls were given money to give, to, you know, to donate to certain philanthropies. So they learned, I think they've learned about it their whole lives. Anywhere, anytime we would go to family, it was just talked about as a, as if like, what are we doing not only for ourselves, but what are we doing for our greater community? Growing up, watching my parents go to meetings was also probably more impactful because not only did they go to meetings, but then some of their stuff they brought us to. They were modeling for us that we could start at a very young age. I do remember asking my dad once, I said, you know, hospitals need money and doctors and, and science need money. Why don't you give to those things? Um, and I remember specifically he said, because we're Jewish and everyone can give to those organizations, but only Jewish people will give to the Jewish organizations. And so that's why we do that. They said it 100% correctly. They did. Be involved. And to be a volunteer in Omaha, they welcome you. Charitable giving can continue after a life has passed. You never know what the future will hold. You only have the moment you're in, and you don't have to be a millionaire to participate. Think about your legacy. What's important to you? Who would you like to help? What a great way to turn your values, hopes, and dreams for the Jewish community into actions and make them last forever. But we can't ensure Jewish tomorrows without you. I was impressed that Life and Legacy is a program that every person, regardless of financial status, can be a part of and feel good about it. I have talked to my boys about Life and Legacy and they know how important it is. And I think initially when I talked to them about it, uh, when you have a young family, you have so much on your plate, it might not be your number one priority. But the more we talked about it, they saw our enthusiasm for the program and, and that they, they got enthused about the program. When my brother died by suicide, 
Steve and I established a memorial endowment fund in his memory. Our intent was to be able to provide financial assistance toward mental health programming, education, and projects. In future generations, there may be less Jewish people to donate money to support the programming and activities that we have been so blessed to have. The Foundation Board is very sensitive to making sure that uh, we do things right, and the future is a huge part of the puzzle for us. Charitable giving can be rewarding. What could be more rewarding than giving a scholarship to a bright, talented, and motivated student, teacher, singer, dancer, computer whiz? The possibilities are endless. What a great way to further someone's education, ease a student's debt, or launch a career. But we can't insure Jewish tomorrows without you. The Phil and Ruth Sokoloff Merit Scholarships began in 2006. My dad would be ecstatic to know that over the last 17 years, more than 100 scholarships have been granted. My dad and mom both were obviously fans of education, and that's why he did a merit scholarship. After maybe say four or five years, I get to see what the kids are doing now, and it's, it's an outstanding uh, thing, and it's just a wonderful feeling. I know Dad would be very proud. When I received the Ruth and Phil Sokoloff Honor Roll Merit Scholarship, I was overjoyed and grateful to receive the scholarship and be recognized for my hard work. It also meant a lot to see the leaders of this community believe in me and invest in the future of Jewish Omaha. Charitable giving is appreciated. Jewish organizations and causes need our help today. Competition in the nonprofit world is fierce. We're inundated with solicitations in the mail, the media, and on the phone. But if we don't prioritize and choose to first support Jewish organizations and Jewish causes, it's like Eleanor said, who will? What a great way to assure our own future and to partner with the Jewish Federation of Omaha Foundation to maintain a strong and vibrant Omaha Jewish community but we can't ensure Jewish tomorrows without you. The role of the foundation to me is very integral in a collaborative approach to help an agency ultimately to deliver the services to a community recipient. So we have the foundation, we have the agency, and then we have the recipient of those funds and services. Without any of those, the process doesn't work. Charitable giving is something that we have to teach young people because it's a lifelong skill. When I see kids who've gotten one of the Sokolov scholarships, it just makes you feel really good. There's not a square foot on the campus that's not affected by and that doesn't benefit from the foundation and the work it's done over the years. The birthstones wheels on this necklace represent our nine grandchildren and taking in everything into consideration, there's no greater reason to give for the future than our future. The Jewish community really cares. Congratulations, Omaha. You take care of your own. I give where there is a need. I give because it feels good.